Hello, this is your virtual life coach, Michael Lewis, and you've got voices in your head. I, I, I hear them. No, I don't. But I bet they speak your language. So you don't even have to translate them. And I bet they even sound like you. I bet they're in your own voice. That voice in your head or those voices in your head. It's a clever disguise because if they sounded like someone you don't like, you will not obey them. So I will let you in on something. Those voices are not you. Especially when they're saying things like, wait, don't, stop, hold up. You don't need to do that now. Just sit down, relax, have a joint, uh, binge some more Netflix. Uh, you're looking tired, don't you? You know, just, 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 just take it easy. Take it easy. Slow down, slow down. You know, you, you really shouldn't do this. When you are set to do something, you've made a decision, the voice or voices in your head will do a number on you. If you're not smart, you will listen to them and obey. They usually will go, no, can't, don't, uh-uh, mm -mm. you know, all the negative stoppy stuff. You don't have a mental voice. You are just you. You don't have to verbalize everything in your mind because your mind doesn't need words. You don't need words to express your ideas to you. You need words to express your ideas to other people. So when you need to tell them to a friend or someone else, that's when you need words. But you don't need them to talk to yourself. Here, try it right now. Right now, think of someone you love. Ah, yes. Now, did you have to express that person's full name, social security number, driver's license, and address to think of them? No, you just had the thought, boing. You know, maybe a nice little image of them also, and maybe a nice little cuddly feeling also, but you didn't need words. The best thoughts you have, the best thoughts you have are instantaneous and nonverbal. The most brilliant ideas you get are just, how? They don't occur in full literate paragraphs. Although, like I said, in order to communicate them to someone else, you may need to put them in words. You would look a little silly going up to your boss with your amazing idea and just going, Bleh. yeah. So you get a great idea. You probably should write it down before you forget it because they happen really fast, instantaneous. So those are the best thoughts. They'll never let you down. They are light, they are fluffy, and they are all about, yes, do it. It'll be great. Go for it right now. Now, the worst thoughts that you have are going to feel like someone is chewing gum in your mind and then sticking it somewhere. They are slow and verbal, and there's lots of, I don't know, maybe, no, I don't know, you know, like that. Those are the worst thoughts. Okay, now how about gut feelings? You get gut feelings, you go, you know, something in my gut tells me I shouldn't do this, or I've got a gut feeling this will be really good. I would suggest if you do get a gut feeling about anything, the first thing you should do is get something to eat. Then see how your gut feels. If your gut is still talking to you, remember, if it's talking in words, it's most likely not you. And what are you doing down there in your gut anyway? Get out of there. It's all messy and sticky down there. And that's all I have to say for now. So until next time, love each other, take your vitamins, observe posted speed limits, play nice, and never lose sight of who you are. Never, never, never lose sight of who you are. So long for now.